Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. At last week's meeting, commissioners heard from Brian Schock, a project manager with Holistic Engineering and Land Management, also known as Helm. His firm, who is already under contract with the county to study flooding issues in the southern portion of the Prompt Valley, is proposing a new study which would focus on the northern portion of the valley. That new study, referred to as the North Prompt Drainage Analysis, would cost the county $322,000. Schock says the study would provide the county with invaluable information for how to better mitigate the risks of flooding. You better than anybody know why we do drainage analyses, right? It rains, it storms, it floods. There could be fatalities, loss of business, emergency um, access, uh, road closures. I mean, sediment erosion, ongoing maintenance. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And when do you do them? Well, you do them when your existing study is outdated. The rainfall's old, the topography's old. So it's just an outdated study. As things change in the watershed, you need to have that reflected in your drainage analysis. While the motion to accept the contract proposal got immediate support, Commissioner Donna Cox expressed some concerns. Even though Helm is currently under contract for the current study, Cox questioned awarding a new contract without accepting other bids for the work. We can only approve $50,000 without having to go out to bid. Um, do we have to go out to bid on this? Are we actually breaking some kind of a law if we don't start putting things like this out to bid? And we have, this has not been advertised, it's not been sent out to bid. Nye County Senior Deputy District Attorney Michelle Nelson urged commissioners to table any action until her office has a chance to examine the proposal. This particular item was not reviewed by legal as it's marked on the agenda item form. So what we would have to do is have that submitted to the DA's office. We could take a look at this particular item as well as what was uh, allegedly approved back in December and what the board's actions were and the documentations together to be able to provide a legal opinion for you, uh, Commissioner Cox. The agenda okay. item is to accept or reject. My proposal to the board would be to continue this item. Uh, perhaps two weeks to 30 days, and that way we can take a look at this. Despite the concerns, Commissioner Leo Blundo was still ready to move forward by accepting the Helm proposal, but Commissioner Deborah Strickland, who had originally seconded the motion, withdrew her support. Chair, I'm going to make a motion again to accept and to fund from a source to be identified by a comptroller. I'll remake the motion if you want to resecond. I'm, I'm fine with moving forward. I think this item is okay. Well, there's no time restraint. Let's let the DA's office look at it. I cannot support your motion. Okay. Blundo, thank you. Yeah. No other commissioner would second Blundo's motion to accept the proposal. Instead, commissioners decided to table the issue until they hear back from the DA's office. The item is expected to come up for discussion again later next month.